Today, I'm gonna to build this super simple workbench out of MDF and two by fours using nothing but a circular saw and a drill. This project is so simple, you can build the whole thing in about an hour. I also built this garage storage system behind me. I've got a video on that dropping today as well. I've got those free PDF plans with cut list and step-by-step -step instructions linked down below. And without any further ado, Let's dive right in. All right, it is Saturday at 2.59. I'm at a stopping point on the storage shelves and workbench, and I'm gonna transition to building what I call the one hour workbench. Now I want a standalone workbench that I can roll around the shop, and we're gonna do it super simple. All you need to build this workbench is a drill and a circular saw. Let's do it. First up, I'll cut the eight lengths of two by four that you need to make the legs. Each leg is made from two of these pieces screwed together in parallel to one another, which I'll show you in a later step. Again, I'll have free PDF plans linked below with all those dimensions and cut lists. Also, I'm adding casters to my workbench, but I'll include measurements if you don't wanna use casters. Moving on to the frames, you'll need to make two frames, one for the upper shelf and one for the lower shelf. Both frames are equal in size, and now I'm cutting all the 15 inch cross members to size. Once I have all those cut, I can start assembling the two frames. I laid all the boards out and made sure everything was square. I'm using two two and a half inch screws on each side and drilling through the long pieces into those cross supports. Once the two frames are built, it's time to build the four legs by screwing the edge of one board to the side of the second board, making sure to keep them aligned. I used three screws on each leg and used the frames I just built to keep the top piece in place while I drove in those screws. If your garage floor is anything like mine, it's not super flat, so I laid down one of those MDF project panels to ensure the legs stay flush with the top of the frame. And then I can attach each leg with two screws on each side. Next, I laid out that second frame on top of that MDF panel and then placed those legs I just attached to the first frame over the second frame. Again, these are attached with two two and a half inch screws on each side of each leg. To attach that two by four foot MDF top, I used a combo square to set the top evenly and then screwed the MDF panel to the two by four frame with some inch and a quarter screws. For the bottom shelf, I measured out the dimensions I need to cut that second MDF panel just to make sure I got an accurate fit. For the long rip cuts, I use this clamp on straight edge, but a two x four and some clamps is all you really need, but I'll make sure to link the straight edge that I use down below as these are super handy to have around in the shop. Next, I cut that MDF shelf to its final length and installed it on the lower frame, attaching with some more inch and a quarter screws. Now I forgot to bring some lag screws to attach the casters, so I grabbed some the next day and picked up where I left off 47 minutes and 45 seconds into this project. Now again, you don't have to add casters. You could have this workbench stand on those two by four legs, but you'll need to cut them five inches longer each. Also, I like to use these nice heavy duty double locking casters, which are gonna run you a couple bucks more. I think I paid around 29 bucks for this set, but they're totally worth it. And I'll make sure to link the ones that I use down below. To seal the MDF, I like to use this Total Boat Halcyon water-based varnish, which is super easy to roll on with a foam roller, and it dries pretty fast. You don't have to seal the MDF, but just know if you live somewhere that's humid or if it gets wet, that MDF can swell. All right, I was able to easily build this entire workbench in under one hour using nothing but a circular saw and a drill. This is the perfect workbench if you're just getting started out or even if you've been doing it for a while, this thing is super handy to have for an extra workspace in your garage or your shop. Again, I've got those free PDF plans linked down below. Also today, I dropped a video on this garage storage system that I built in one weekend. Make sure you check that out as well. I built these projects because I just bought this house. I'm gonna be doing a ton of renovation content here. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of that. All right, 
Thanks for checking this one out, and I'll see you back here next time.